Right now at 11, a twin engine plane crashes into the woods of Greenfield, killing all three people on board. The nation's first vote of the 2024 election comes in Iowa tomorrow, where bitter cold might well limit turnout. And after a series of snow squalls on Sunday, we have even more snow showers looking ahead to Tuesday. And we'll get some reflections on the Boston influence of a civil rights giant on the eve of King Day. Now, live on WBZ-TV and streaming on CBS News Boston, this is WBZ News. And we want to begin this Sunday night in Western Mass. That's where a twin-engine plane, possibly registered to a flight school, crashed into the woods of Greenfield, killing the three people on board. WBZ's Laura Hafley is tracking the latest on this. She joins us live now from the Satellite Center. As you mentioned, this plane crash killed all three people on board. A devastating loss for families in mourning tonight. But how did this happen? An investigation is now underway to figure out who or what was at fault. Welcome back. After over 20 years, this is the very last show for WBZ's own Ken McLeod. He's not only the masterful storyteller you see on the air, he's also a terrific person. Our WBZ team says, see you later and thank you. Ken, we're not going to have any more green room conversations, which I will miss, as I will miss you. I just feel so lucky that I had the chance to work with you, learn from you, and call you my friend. Congratulations, Ken. Enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. Congratulations on everything that's come your way. You've earned it in a big way. You're my compatriot. We are the July 9th whatever year, and I'm going to miss you. You are like Benjamin Button. You went backwards in age as far as how you looked. And you retire, retiring at 81, you still look like you're 45 years old. I hope I can take a slice of what I've learned from you moving forward. I'm gonna miss our pep talks that we've had. Your writing is simple, but your stories are expertly crafted. The best part about getting to know you is how welcoming you are. I appreciate all that you stand for, all that you're about and uh, I wish you the very, very best. Not only are we gonna miss you, but our viewers are gonna miss you. We wish you the best, Ken. You guys mm. are too nice. Everyone, too nice. everyone had not such many, nice things to say. Not many people know I was Bob LaBelle's first intern when he came over <laughs> That's from That's unbelievable, that, that really is. <laughs> that goes way back, So we had right? to get him in the piece, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> but my friend, let me tell you something. You are so special. You are so special. And whatever you're going to do, you will always be successful. I appreciate it. And I'm going to miss the camaraderie of the team here. You know that. I'm going to miss yeah. that the most. Well, I want to finish up tonight by thanking those of you who've trusted me to deliver your news for these last 20 years. Hope that I've been able to help you decipher this city, this state, and this world a little bit better. I've seen the human spirit at its best and worst. But through it all, I found a certain truth. If you show people respect, understanding, and compassion, you very often get it back. Thanks to my wife and family for their sacrifices so I could pursue this career, to my co-workers who saved my bacon more times than I can count, and to this station for letting me keep this job for so long. I've never been the sharpest tool in the shed, but my dad always told me it's amazing what you can overcome with a little common sense and a lot of hard work. His advice has always been pretty good. Yes, I'm retiring. Don't worry. Someone will be here next week and they'll have the same solid BZ team behind them. So. You're in good hands. Sports Final is coming up next. Good night. Take care.